Malaria is a serious and sometimes fatal disease caused by a parasite that commonly infects a certain type of mosquito, which then feeds on humans and infects red blood cells. It remains the major global health burden, with roughly 200 million cases worldwide and more than 400,000 deaths per year. The burden was heaviest in the African region, where an estimated 92% of all malaria deaths occurred. Malaria is also hard to detect, as its symptoms are non-specific to the illness, and even blood tests done early might not be able to detect the malaria parasites in the patient's blood. Typical symptoms of malaria include fever, fatigue, headaches, and in severe cases, seizures and coma leading to death. Where malaria is not widespread anymore, healthcare providers may not be familiar with the disease, thus leading to potential delays in seeking treatment and misdiagnosis when trying to identify malaria. Hundreds of billions of blood films are examined every year for malaria, which involves manual counting of parasites and infected red blood cells by a trained microscopist. However, microscopic diagnosis is not standardised and depends heavily on the skill of the microscopist, which leads to inaccurate diagnostic decisions. The shortcomings of manual detection have motivated us to find the best way to improve malaria diagnosis. With the advances of machine learning, we thought that it would be useful to utilise deep learning in order to come up with a quick and accurate way of differentiating malaria-infected cells from normal cells. After trying out several types of machine learning models, we decided to use a type of model that has been proven to be effective on image classification, which is convolutional neural networks, or also known as CNNs. So how does CNN work? CNN is a type of neural network. Each image is represented as a tensor of numbers which goes through various functions in the different hidden layers of the CNN. The final output will then be subjected to functions in the classification section that determines the probability of the class. For the type of layers we used, we have decided to adopt a simplified model of the VGG16 developed by the Visual Geometry Group from Oxford. We compared the results of our CNN with other traditional machine learning models such as the perceptron learning algorithm and logistic regression and the base accuracy of our CNN far surpasses that of the other two. CNN, although requiring high computing power, can deliver an accuracy that is way better than those yielded by older methods. Moving forward, we want to further improve the healthcare industry. We hope to extend our model to other diseases such as breast cancer and sickle cell anemia. With this, we hope that our model helps to quicken and improve the accuracy of detection of diseases and help patients get the treatment they deserve as soon as possible.